The James Webb Space Telescope, often hailed as humanity's eye into the deep unknown, has yet again made a discovery that reshapes our understanding of the universe. This engineering marvel was launched with a mission unlike any before it, to probe the earliest moments after the Big Bang, to peer into the atmospheres of distant exoplanets, and to reveal secrets of star systems far beyond our reach. Designed to succeed the Hubble Space Telescope, Webb's powerful instruments allow it to detect infrared light with exceptional clarity, enabling astronomers to observe stars and planets forming over billions of light years away. One of its most recent observations has stunned scientists around the world. Webb was directed toward a star system located approximately 120 light years away in the constellation Leo, orbiting a cool red dwarf star named K218. There, the telescope focused on an exoplanet known as K218b. What it found has sent shockwaves through the scientific community. The detection of carbon-bearing molecules, including methane, CH, and carbon dioxide, CO, in the planet's atmosphere. These molecules are often associated with biological processes on Earth, and their presence raises profound questions about the possibility of alien oceans, and even life, on distant worlds. K218b is classified as a sub-Neptune, meaning it's larger than Earth but smaller than Neptune, with a radius about 2.6 times that of our planet and a mass 8.6 times greater. Planets in this category are virtually absent from our own solar system, making them rare and intriguing subjects of study. Unlike the gas giants in our system, K218b is believed to have a hydrogen-rich atmosphere and an interior that might conceal a vast, global liquid ocean, an environment potentially favorable to life as we know it. The initial hints about this planet's unique nature came from NASA's Hubble Space Telescope, which first observed the chemical fingerprints in its atmosphere. However, it was Webb that confirmed these findings with far greater precision, revealing not only carbon-based gases but also suggesting the possible presence of dimethyl sulfide, DMS, a molecule that, on Earth, is exclusively produced by life, particularly marine phytoplankton. The potential discovery of DMS is not yet conclusive, and scientists emphasize the need for further observations, but even the suggestion of its presence is enough to stir serious interest in the scientific community. As astonishing as it sounds, this exoplanet is not a perfect twin of Earth. Its thick atmosphere, immense pressure, and proximity to its host star raise valid questions about the actual conditions on the surface. According to researchers from the University of Cambridge, while K218b lies within its star's habitable zone, and hosts a promising chemical profile, it may possess a core wrapped in layers of high-pressure ice, an environment more akin to Neptune than Earth. The surface, if it exists in a stable liquid state, could be covered by an ocean beneath this dense atmospheric blanket, but whether such an ocean could truly support life remains to be seen. Still, the fact that Webb has managed to obtain the most detailed atmospheric spectrum ever recorded for a habitable zone sub-Neptune is a monumental achievement. This was made possible by observing the exoplanet as it transited its host star, passing directly in front of it from our point of view. During these transits, a small fraction of the starlight filters through the planet's atmosphere before reaching Earth, leaving behind spectral traces of the gases it encounters. These traces, invisible to the naked eye, tell scientists what the atmosphere is made of, offering the closest thing we currently have to, smelling, an alien world. Webb's next step is to utilize its mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, to conduct deeper, more nuanced observations. This tool will help confirm whether dimethyl sulfide and other biosignature gases are present in significant amounts, and will provide further data on the planet's climate, temperature, and atmospheric dynamics. This effort represents part of a much larger mission, to identify potentially habitable exoplanets and search for signs of life beyond Earth. But the wonders revealed by the Webb telescope don't end with K218b. In a completely separate investigation, Astronomers using Webb have also discovered complex organic molecules in a galaxy that existed when the universe was only about 1.5 billion years old, just a fraction, about 10%, of its current age of 13.8 billion years. These molecules, identified as polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, 
are found on Earth in coal, crude oil, and even the pollution in our atmosphere. Their presence in such an ancient galaxy, named SPT-041847, has shocked researchers and forced a re-evaluation of how quickly the universe was able to produce the raw ingredients of life. These organic compounds are not simple molecules like water or oxygen. Instead, they are large and structurally complex, composed of dozens or hundreds of atoms. Their detection in the early universe suggests that the processes required to create carbon-based life began much sooner than previously imagined. If the essential components of biology were already forming just over a billion years after the Big Bang, could primitive life have emerged somewhere else, long before it took root on Earth? SPT-041847 is particularly remarkable because it already had a mass comparable to that of our Milky Way, and its stars had generated vast amounts of carbon and oxygen, elements critical for life. Previous attempts to detect such molecules in ancient galaxies lack the resolution to pinpoint their locations, but Webb's cutting-edge infrared technology now allows scientists to map where these molecules are concentrated. What's even more intriguing is that the distribution of these complex molecules appears to be non-uniform, hinting at localized chemical reactions and environmental conditions that are not yet understood. These findings challenge existing cosmological models and force scientists to reconsider how galaxies, stars, and even planets formed in the early universe. With each revelation, the James Webb Space Telescope continues to reshape our cosmic perspective. It's not just about seeing further into space, it's about seeing further back in time. Light from these ancient galaxies has traveled across the fabric of spacetime for billions of years, allowing us to peer into the dawn of the cosmos. The fact that we are discovering organic molecules, potential biosignatures, and even possibly habitable exoplanets at this stage in Webb's journey suggests that the universe may be far more biologically fertile than we ever imagined. As humanity continues this awe-inspiring quest to understand the universe, we are reminded of how little we truly know. Are we alone? Are we a cosmic accident, or just one chapter in a universe teeming with life? With each new observation, the answer feels a little closer. At Waves Discovery, we're committed to bringing you the latest and most exciting stories from the frontiers of science and space. If this journey through time and space fascinated you, please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next cosmic revelation. Let us know in the comments, do you believe life exists elsewhere in the universe? Could planets like K218b one day be homes to other civilizations? Or perhaps even our descendants? The James Webb Telescope has only just begun its mission. And yet, it has already changed the course of scientific history. What it reveals next might be more profound than anything we've ever known.